Nikola Tesla is considered one of the most innovative and mysterious men who ever lived. If Tesla hadn't invented and researched everything he did in his time, our technology today would be considerably worse. But is there something more to Tesla? Did he in fact have contact with aliens as he publicly proclaimed? He is one of the most amazing inventors our civilization has ever known. His knowledge and ideas went far and beyond what was known and accepted in his lifetime. Nikola Tesla was born around midnight, between July 9 and July 10, 1856 in what is now Croatia, during a fierce lightning storm. According to family legend, midway through the birth, the midwife wrung her hands and declared the lightning a bad omen, this child will be a child of darkness, she said, to which his mother replied, no, he will be a child of light. Tesla was a genius, and his inventions and ideas had no boundaries. Over a hundred years ago, during the first decade of the 20th century, Tesla filed a request to patent a peculiar aircraft, which he called the world's first flying saucer, the world's first man-made UFO. The methods used in the design of the flying saucer matched the descriptions of those who claimed to have seen a from the UFO inside, with a discoidal capacitor with sufficient size to provide enough thrust to fly, while other small capacitors allowed to control the direction of the flying saucer, to which he added a gyroscopic stabilization system and a electric drive control. And if all of that isn't enough, Tesla had more. The interior of the ship was equipped with flat screens and external video cameras for the pilot's blind spots. Tesla's interest in electrical invention was spurred by his mother, Duke Kermandic, who invented small household appliances in her spare time while her son was growing up. Tesla's father, Milutin Tesla, was a priest and a writer, and he pushed for his son to join the priesthood, but Nikola's interests lay squarely in the sciences. After studying at the Realschule, Karlstadt, later renamed the Johann Rudolf Glauber Realtula Karlstadt, the Polytechnic Institute in Graz, Austria, and the University of Prague during the 1870s, Tesla moved to Budapest, where for a time he worked at the Central Telephone Exchange. It was while in Budapest that the idea for the induction motor first came to Tesla. But after several years of trying to gain interest in his invention, at age 28 Tesla decided to leave Europe for America. In 1884 Tesla arrived the United States with little more than the clothes on his back and a letter of introduction to famed inventor and business mogul Thomas Edison, whose DC-based electrical works were fast becoming the standard in the country. Edison hired Tesla, and the two men were soon working tirelessly alongside each other making improvements to Edison's inventions. However, several months later, the two parted ways due to a conflicting business-scientific relationship, attributed by historians to their incredibly different personalities. While Edison was a power figure who focused on marketing and financial success, Tesla was commercially out of tune and somewhat vulnerable. After parting ways with Edison, in 1885 Tesla received funding for the Tesla Electric Light Company and was tasked by his investors to develop improved arc lighting. After successfully doing so, 
However, Tesla was forced out of the venture and for a time had to work as a manual laborer in order to survive. His luck changed in 1887, when he was able to find interest in his AC electrical system and funding for his new Tesla electric company, setting straight to work by the end of the year. Tesla had successfully filed several patents for AC-based inventions. Tesla's AC system eventually caught the attention of American engineer and businessman George Westinghouse, who was seeking a solution to supplying the nation with long-distance power. Convinced that Tesla's inventions would help him achieve this, in 1888 he purchased his patents for $60,000 in cash and stock in the Westinghouse Corporation. As interest in an alternating current system grew, Tesla and Westinghouse were put in direct competition with Thomas Edison, who was intent on selling his direct current system to the nation. A negative press campaign was soon waged by Edison, in an attempt to undermine interest in AC power. Tesla, for his part, continued in his work and would patent several more inventions during this period, including the Tesla coil, which laid the foundation for wireless technologies and is still used in radio technology today. Having become obsessed with the wireless transmission of energy, around 1900 Nikola set to work on his boldest project yet, to build a global wireless communication system, to be transmitted through a large electrical tower, for sharing information and providing free electricity throughout the world. With funding from a group of investors that included financial giant J.P. Morgan, in 1901 Tesla began work on the project in earnest, designing and building a lab with a power plant and a massive transmission tower on a site on Long Island, New York, that became known as Warden Cliffer. However, when doubts arose among his investors about the plausibility of Tesla's system and his rival, Guglielmo Marconi, with the financial support of Andrew Carnegie and Thomas Edison, continued to make great advances with his own radio technologies. Tesla had no choice but to abandon the project. The Wardenclyffe staff was laid off in 1906 and by 1915 the site had fallen into foreclosure. Two years later Tesla declared bankruptcy and the tower was dismantled and sold for scrap to help pay the debts he had accrued. Most UFOs are Tesla's flying sources, Nikola Tesla, the man who, as many believe, was almost buried in forgotten history until her recent surge in interest over the past few decades. Nikola Tesla's inventions and technological breakthroughs are so incredible advanced many are still baffled by what he invented over 120 years ago that is just now coming into recent public tech use. The rumors that surround the man are almost as fascinating as the facts. Tales of alien encounters and other strange psychic abilities all surround the fable and myth that make up the image many have of Nikola Tesla in the current age, and sometimes that is for good reason. Tesla's Dynamic Theory of Gravity the dynamic theory of gravity of Nikola Tesla explains the relation between gravitation and electromagnetic force as a unified field theory, a model over matter, the ether, and energy. 
It is a unified field theory to unify all the fundamental forces, such as the force between all masses and particle responses into a single theoretical framework. Tesla published a prepared statement on his 81st birthday, July 10, 1937, critiquing Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. The following is a portion of that statement. Supposing that the bodies act upon the surrounding space causing curving of the same, it appears to my simple mind that the curved spaces must react on the bodies and producing the opposite effects, straightening out the curves, since action and reaction are coexisting. It follows that the supposed curvature of space is entirely impossible, but even if it existed it would not explain the motions of the bodies as observed. Only the existence of a field of force can account for the motions of the bodies as observed, and its assumption dispenses with space curvature. All literature on this subject is futile and destined to oblivion. So are all attempts to explain the workings of the universe without recognizing the existence of the ether and the indispensable function it plays in the phenomena. My second discovery was of a physical truth of the greatest importance. As I have searched the entire scientific records in more than a half dozen languages for a long time without finding the least anticipation, I consider myself the original discoverer of this truth, which can be expressed by the statement, there is no energy in matter other than that received from the environment, Nikola Tesla.